Hey everybody, Ewok Hugs here, and today I decided to use a new microphone, so hopefully this turns out well. Um, last time what we did is we basically deleted everything off of the storyboard except the text field, which we'll get to later. But for now, we're focusing on the buttons. Um, we had about 15 methods here, and we condensed it down to three, which is pretty cool. Um, we created an NSRA called Operations, which will come in very handy later. And uh, now let's go to our .m, which is where all of our coding is going to happen today. So uh, basically, uh, let's get started on the IB Action Add buttons because without this, we can't really run these two these two methods, as you'll see. Um, so the best way to create a bunch of buttons at once, or create a bunch of things at once for that matter, um, is use a for loop. Um, I'm assuming you guys know what a for loop is. I'm pretty sure I've used it before in my other tutorials. Um, a for loop basically it starts i at zero, and as long as i is less than ten, it'll keep adding one to i. So basically, it'll go through this. 10 times because 0 to 9 is 10 and it'll run through whatever we put in here 10 times. So if we say nslog at um, I think it's percent %d and then comma i uh, that's a problem. Uh, we are running uh, the add buttons method. So in the view did load just type in self add buttons that just says run run this method right off the bat. So let's run this again. And then as you can see, it starts at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So it's basically, that's how a for loop works. Um, I'm just saying whatever i is, plug into the string, and that's what's getting output it here. Um, so how are we going to do this with buttons? Well, you see, that's a very good question. Um, what we're going to need to do is uh, initialize buttons. Um, we're going to name it just... We're going to name these number buttons. Because we're going to have to set up number buttons and operation buttons separately. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do it together, but for the sake of simplicity for now, um, we are going to do it this way, UI button, type around it, rec. Okay, so this line of code basically uh, initializes a button called number buttons. It actually initializes it ten times because the for loop, uh, UI button, button with type, UI button, type round rec. Round rec is the kind of buttons we were using before, where they were rounded rectangles. Um, which are basically like the standard buttons for uh, for most stuff. Um, so then we're, what we're going to want to do is take our newly uh, created UI button and then we're going to add a target to it. Um, and the target's going to be self. It's going to be performing an action on itself. Uh, most of the time it will be self. I can't think of a case where it wouldn't be. So yeah, so the action is going to be at selector, selector, a uh, number selected, I'll go over that in a second, for control events, UI, um, control touch up inside, and that is good for that, I believe, okay, so this action at selector, number selected, is basically saying, Whenever UI control event touch up inside, so whenever the button's pushed inside, run number selected. And um, as you can see, uh, number selected is taking in some uh, getter. It's, it's basically uh, grabbing what is being put out, like the I that's being put out. Um, uh, variables. It's taking in variables from up here, and this is sending getters and setters pretty much. 
uh, I'm thinking about this in Java terms, I'm not sure about the objective C, uh, like appropriate, uh, you know, convention names for stuff. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is set the title to the button, because obviously each button is going to have to have a title. Um, set title. And a string, we are going to say at uh, percent %d, and then comma that with i, and then for state, um, it is going to be ui control um, rule state normal. Um, what this line of code does, am I getting an error, or is it just being weird? Just being weird. Oops. Uh, oh, this is why I set title. We're gonna have to say ns string um, string with format. Boom, boom. There's that string with format. Okay. Um, so we have to set the title to a string, and the string with format is actually going to be an int value since i is an int and we want it to be an int because 0 through 9 are integers um, and then for state ui control state normal you don't really have to worry about that um, it's just the default state of a control it's it's just standard button button code um, so now we're getting into the fun part. Um, this is, if we run it right now, um, we are going to not get buttons because we don't add buttons yet. Uh, let's go ahead and just put that line of code in self.view, add a subview, and then number buttons. And if we run that, we're just going to get bunch of, no, no, they don't even buttons. Huh, very interesting. Why am I not getting buttons? Um, I guess we're just going to have to initialize them as they come. Um, okay. Okay, so, if we take a look at a standard calculator, um, you know that let me um, delete this line of code and run it so I can just show you guys really quickly. Um, come on. Run. Okay. The standard calculator. There's a zero at the bottom around here. Then up, up x. We have 1, 2, well, in this case, it'd be down x, because 0, x is up there, big x is up here. So 0, and then down x would be 1, 2, 3, and that goes across the y. Above that would be 4, 5, 6. Above that would be 7, 8, 9. And then we have the operation buttons, which we'll worry about later. Um, so in order to do this and set these buttons up, programmatically uh, correctly uh, it's going to take a, a few if statements um, so what we're going to do is say if i is less than 1 uh, this is for the 0 button we could say if i equals equals 0 if we want um, I'm just going to say if i is less than 1 then um, because that's basically what a the format I'm keeping it in. So we're gonna say number but whoops number buttons dot frame and we're gonna equal that to CG rect make uh just here and we're gonna okay so I predetermined these values just for the sake of time and not having to mess around with it and uh in the middle of this tutorial, uh, so just just to save time, like I said, uh, three six uh, seven point five, and then we're gonna say fifty eight, and then 
150. Okay, I'll explain what these values are real quick. Um, basically, uh, what this is doing is setting the X position. So, it is saying 0, uh, we are going to want plus 0.5. So, it's basically saying we don't even need the I in there. Um, 0.5 times 58, which is 29. Um, so we could honestly just throw 29 in there. Uh, so 29 is going to be the x x value of this. Uh, 365 is going to be the y value. I mean 367.5 will be the y value. Um, so that means it will be 365 down and 29 to the right. Uh, this is how big it is. Uh, 58 is going to be the width and then 50 will be the height, I believe. It might be the other way around, actually, but I think this is the case. Um, so if we go ahead and run it, it should, uh, should work from here. We should be able to see this button. Yeah, here we go. A nice zero button. That does absolutely nothing. Um, so we are going to, uh, create the next if statement and we're going to go through this one kind of quickly because after this it's mostly just copy and pasting and then I'll go ahead and explain it better in the next episode uh, because we are running out of time honestly uh, number buttons dot frame equal cg rack uh, make and then what this one's going to do is this i, not 1, i plus 0.5 times that by 58, um, uh, uh, times that by 58 divided by i, I, I know this is, this is probably a bit confusing, plus 68 times I minus 1, yeah. Um, I can imagine this being really confusing, but like I said, I predetermined these values just for the sake of time. Um, and I will go over the arithmetic of them later. Um, it's just right now, uh, we're running out of time. Uh, 50, and then pshum. Okay, from here, we could copy and paste this method. And we can say as long as i is greater than or equal to 4, and as long as it's less than 7, because we have 4, 5, and 6, um, then we are going to want to do, there's one thing we need to change, and that is i minus 4, because we want this to always equal the y, correct y value that corresponds with this. So if it's 1 minus 1, it would be, 0, uh, 68, so, like I said, I will explain this a lot better in the next episode, simply because running out of time, but you're just going to have to take my word for this for now, that this is the correct, correct code that we got going on, um, as long as 7, and it's less than 10, and then we are going to want to change this to 7, we are going to want to change this to uh, 202.5. Um, so now, if we go ahead and run it, all of our number buttons should display properly in the right position. Uh, no, they did not. Um, what What is going on here? Uh, um, I messed up on my math somewhere. Where exactly? I messed up on the x value of uh, 1 and of this whole row pretty much. So it's somewhere in here 1 plus 0.5 times 58 divided by i plus 68 times i minus 1. That should be correct. Um. Hmm. Why? Why isn't it working? 
Oh, I know why. Um, this should be times. Uh, and this should be times. And this should be times. Um, the reason it wasn't times in this first one that we changed just to 29 is because 0 times 0.5 would be 0, and then just wouldn't work out. Um, but now we should get a nice looking calculator. And once we add in the operation buttons, you'll see that it all equals out nice and perfectly. Okay, um, next episode, I will probably just explain the arithmetic or the uh, maths behind these here to set up the proper values, which will probably be a kind of boring episode that you'll, you can skip over if you want. I probably won't add anything new or significant. I will just explain. Um, but I just wanted to get something on the UI for you guys. And you guys can mess around with these values if you want. Change them to how you look. How you would like them to look. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.